Don McVeigh here for this week's Make It Monday. So I get a lot of comments and feedback about my color choices and how I use color. So I was thinking that it might be good if I started trying to work more color themed challenges into the Make It Monday repertoire. So for today I've come up with a challenge for you that I'm calling Flowers in Reverse. And by that I mean that typically when we create cards with flowers on them, we oftentimes stamp those flowers in a variety of colors and the leaves are usually a neutral or maybe a nondescript shade of green so that they sort of blend into the background. But for today, I thought we could flip things completely around and this time create flowers that are white or very neutral and use those big bold pops of color on the leaves. That doesn't mean that our flowers will be any less of a focal point. They can definitely still be the star of the show. But we want the bulk of the actual color on these cards to be on the leaves so that our eyes will be drawn around the card by those brightly colored leaves. So that's your challenge, and I can't wait to see your projects. Okay, so let's dive right in. As you can see, I've already got a big mess of die cuts out on my desk and kind of in process. I tried to speed up a little bit of this for you so you don't have to watch the whole thing, but I have gone ahead and die cut some flowers using uh, the notched flower dies, the Grand Botanicals die set, and uh, some Sunflower Harvest. And then I've got some leaves that I've die cut from the Grand's Garden set, as well as some leaves from uh, both Sunflower Harvest and Grand Botanicals. And to add my pops of color, for the most part, you know, I want to keep the flowers white, but I am going to add just a little bit of um, chartreuse and a bright yellow to the centers and some of the flowers. And so to do that, I've got some inks out. I've got sunflower, um, summer sunrise. I've got limeade ice. And then I've also got some greens, teals, that sort of thing to add to my uh, leaves. But I'm also going to be using some uh, markers just to add a little bit of color as well. So just pull out whatever um, supplies you have to work with and um, just start layering things up. That's the beauty of this. Like I said, for the most part, I want to keep the flowers white, but I do want there to just be tiny pops of color here and there. And then I'm really going to let the leaves themselves be uh, where most of the color on this card comes from. So uh, as I add color here and there, I'm going to speed this up a little bit so that you can watch the process. Uh, and this hopefully won't take all day for you. <laughs> Okay, so I went ahead and got all of the flower layers put together. Um, I've got a few of the other cards assembled, but I just wanted to tell you what I ended up doing is I had a whole big pile of flowers and leaves um, when I was finished with that whole die cutting and layering process. And I really like to work that way for um, a couple of different reasons. I feel like it gives you a lot more um, room for creativity when it goes when it comes time to actually start building your cards because you're not having to think when you're die cutting okay I need one of this layer and one of this layer and one of this layer if you just die cut a whole bunch of pieces and put them all together and then you've got a big pile of die cuts to work with then when you sit down to make these cards it really gives you the opportunity to pile on the layers or to pare down the layers whichever you prefer um, 
at the time that you're putting the cards together. You don't have to map everything out ahead of time. Uh, you can just grab your pile of die cuts and start building and layering. And so that's what I've done here. I've got um, three other cards already put together, which I'll show you the details of those in just a minute. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish putting this card together. And here's kind of how I like to um, approach the assembly of these types of cards. Um, I sort of just wanna lay everything out. Nothing here is stuck down. I just lay it all out, kind of get a feel for where I want everything. And then I'm gonna go in with my adhesive and start adhering things into place. And um, in this case, I've got a piece of vellum here and I haven't glued that down yet because I wanna be strategic about where I place that adhesive on the back of the vellum so it doesn't show through. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick all of my um, die cuts down and then I can hide the adhesive on the back of the vellum. I'll just spread those out and some of these I did go ahead and place some adhesive on so they're ready uh, ready to be stuck down. Same with a few of these other leaves. I love how that one turned out. Isn't it funny how sometimes when you're working with different elements, <laughs> you'll have favorites. <laughs> okay, and I've got some uh, double-ended end, double ended banner die cuts that I die cut and stamped with some sentiments from Ways to Say, thank you. And I've just torn it off because um, I don't need the whole, the whole thing there. Okay, so now that I have, oopsie, now that I have all of these pieces, in fact, I think I'm gonna change this a little bit. Shift those in a little closer. Okay, so all of these pieces are stuck to the vellum and now I can flip it over and hide the adhesive where the um, flowers and things are covering it on the front. And I'm gonna leave it like that. And then we'll come in and I'm gonna shove everything off to this left side on this card, close to the edge here. And make sure that all of those little pieces are stuck down. And then I like to, on particularly on really layered cards like this, kind of fluff all these little pieces forward a bit. And then for one last finishing touch, I've got some of these tiny little flower die cuts. And I'm just gonna pop a few of these right on the front here. Oh, let's add this guy too. He's cute. Okay, so there is our finished card. And here is another finished card. This one features the um, Shapeshifters Oval 2 die. Again, I just wanted to keep the background on all of these really neutral, so everything is white. This cover plate, Cozy Christmas 2 die, is the one that I used for that detail. And on this one, I grabbed a piece of Bitty Dot vellum. You see the dots? And I die cut it with one of the noted uh, A2 scalloped dies. Okay, so I hope you're feeling a bit inspired by today's color-themed Make It Monday, and I can't wait to see what designs you'll come up with. To play along, simply head to the Paper Tray blog to share your project so we can all see. Thanks so much for watching. This has been Dawn McVeigh with Make It Monday.